Welcome to our candle passing ceremony. Today is a special day where we would like to take time to honor our eighth graders this past year and welcome our seventh graders as our new leaders. St. Catherine of Siena once said, be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. We have tried to help our students grow in their leadership skills so that as they head out into the world, they can help set it on fire. The students met together once a month during advisory to reflect on different aspects of leadership and to build community with one another. Qualities such as courage, trust, responsibility, service, and friendship were all discussed as qualities of what it means to be a Christian leader. To begin our ceremony, our seventh graders have taken the time to write a short statement about their eighth grade partner, reflecting on one or two ways that they have seen them be a leader this year. Oh, 
Hello and welcome to this candle blessing part of the candle passing ceremony. Um, this is Father Matthew Quayle coming to you from uh, your spiritual home here at St. Stephen's right here in this sanctuary. So um, two things. So eighth graders, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of all the positive things you have um, given to our school and to our community for your positive ways of leadership and being an, an example of Christ's love to those around you. So I am excited to see what the Lord has in store for you as you each go into high school and to whatever lies beyond that, if it's college, if it's work, or whatever that is. I'm excited to see that uh, what the Lord will do. I'm confident in your um, in your strengths and your abilities and all the good things that you are. And to our seventh graders who will now be receiving these candles. So the first time that we receive um, candles as a Christian is at our baptism. It is a symbol that the light of Christ burns deeply within us and we are to bring um, this candle to the end of our life shining brightly for Christ and to be the light in a dark world. So to be the, the model of Christ, to be Christ's love, to be Christ's hands and feet in the world. So let this, be, uh, let this candle be a reminder and symbol for that. So eighth graders, thank you for the ways in which you have been that light of Christ for our school. And seventh graders, we, um, we want to pray especially that you can be that light of Christ for our, our school and be the leaders that we need. So let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our eighth graders who have been um, such a light for our school. And now we ask you for our seventh graders who are to receive their candles. We pray that the, they may um, receive the light of Christ deep within them once again. And may this candle always be a reminder of Christ's love for them that they must shine and share with others. May our seventh graders assume this role of leadership with great joy, with great zeal, that they may share the love of Christ with others through kind acts, through kind deeds, through their generosity, how they treat one another, and by always bringing themselves and others close to you, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you all in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless and congratulations, eighth graders, on your graduation and congratulations, seventh graders, on this new role of leadership.